Hi everyone, so this is part three of the enchanted journal that I'm making with the ring binder. Um, so the, on the last video I did this textured um, paste, which I think you can just about see. I've painted over it uh, with some more black gesso and that's dried now. Um, I'm not overly happy with the way it looks, so I've had to think about the way I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to use this image on the front uh, from a print off I've done and build from there. Uh, I've got that piece of paper there so you don't get glare from my light. Um, so this is the, I don't know what it's called. It's like a meshing. Uh, I think you can just about see that in focus oh it's like a ribbon but i've got it in cream and i've got it in um, a dark brown so i'm going to use the dark brown so i'm going to stick that onto the spine um, i've got three pieces of it so i'm going to go either side so it comes round and then i'm going to do a center piece um, so i think i'll do that first I cut them so you didn't have to sit there watching me cutting stuff out. And then I'll put a piece down the centre as well. So that's going to be on the spine. I'm going to use, um, I use Impasso Gel Gloss, so it's a 3D um, media for... When I'm doing my mixed media stuff, it's an absolutely super glue. It just sets beautifully and it's quite thick. And I just love working with it. So I'm really going to pop. Let me move my image out of the way. Uh, I'm going to use a piece of tissue for this because otherwise I'll get glue on everything. I just fold that over. You just about see if it's over there. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece and I'm just going to pop some gel on it. It probably is going to spring right back. Uh, when this clears, it clear it. When this dries, sorry, it clear it dries clear. Oh my, my words today. <laughs> I think it's absolutely cracking stuff. Okay. So, you could use um, Fabri-Tac, I suppose, to do this with, because it's like a fabric uh, materi material. That's not going to look like it's going to stick now. Look. It will. Once it takes, it takes really well. Quite a rigid one the uh, cream one's not quite so rigid this will dry clear and not glossy i think on the other book i actually did use the uh i did use fabri tac but it's really shiny where it's where it's dried and it just doesn't look great hence that's why i'm keeping that one for myself uh, I was going to experiment with this one and then I'll uh, either make these to order or just make a few up and then put them in my Etsy shop when I eventually get around to finishing getting set up. It's one of those things I keep saying I'm going to do it and then something crops up that day and you just don't get around to it. I'm hoping that once I'm allowed to drive, I'm, I'm not allowed to drive at the moment due to my heart problem. So I'm a bit grounded and my husband's having to drive me everywhere. So I'm hoping once I'm allowed to drive again, um, I can start going to some craft fairs and getting out and about again, which will be super great. Because as lovely as it is being in, it does get a little bit. I 
don't know. I think if you choose to be in, that's great. But when you have to be in, it's not so good. That makes sense. Okay. I'm going to pop that one down the centre. It's one of those things, once it takes, it takes, but getting it to take is a pain. I am going to be painting over all of this uh, with acrylic paints. I'm going to do it in the turquoises and greens to match the tree dragon on the front. This looks really bad at the minute, but it will, <laughs> will dry matte. I put this onto one of the boxes that I made and I had exactly the same problem where it just kept lifting, lifting and then all of a sudden it just took. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm a bit croaky. It's starting to bolt to it now. I don't mind there being a bit of overhang at the top, that's fine. So I'm going to be putting on other pieces on the front stick. And I'll be using this for that too. <clears throat> Take it now. Okay. But if I damped it down first, it'd be easier to apply. I'm sure. Not so rigid. It looks so good though when it's dried. It looks really good. sticking down now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so that's that. Now the image. I'm going to get rid of the glare. This is really bad quality but working with black isn't it? I hope you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> the image. Okay, so I'm going to cover the leaf pretty much with this. I'm just not happy with it. I just printed that off on a piece of normal copy paper. Um, but I am going to jazz it up a bit once it's on there. But I need to get my other elements on here first, I think. Um... So what I'm thinking, I'm just going to place it on now so I can show you while well, that's just setting and going off. I had a, I've got loads of these little ply wooden pieces. It comes white, so I've just gone over that with some black gesso. And... I think I'm going to I've also got a load of paper flowers I picked out all the ones that are in the same colour spectrum as my as my dragon and I'm thinking perhaps oh, my fingers are sticky Maybe pop in some of these flowers around here. Maybe a couple. Up here. Up 
<clears throat> I also have these little mini. Oh, I don't think you can see that. Let me we'll use that piece of paper. Okay. Some little mini leaf skeletons. You can see this. Come up in frame. There we go. Um, I'll pop in one of two of these in too. <clears throat> I'm afraid I can't find my um, microphone. Uh, so I'm speaking, I've got my phone really close to me, so I hope you can hear all right. It's either going to be really loud or not very loud at all. Be about right. That one's quite a broken one. <coughs> Excuse me. Tuck that one in under there. I'm just laying them out to see how I like the layout. I always do this before I start sticking anything down. Um, not sure where I'll... Oh, maybe go down there with that one. I'm not sure. Very decisive today. If I put a little leaf on it, pop it down there. It's quite sweet. You can always add if you want to add. I'm kind of liking that. And then I'm going to be using paints all around it to blend it all and bring it all together. That's my plan. Okay, I kind of like that. That's quite nice. So, <clears throat> let's just take those off there now. I made it totally different by the time I come around to putting it on, but that's roughly where I'm going. Right, I'm going to stick my image down. So, I'm using the same glue. So, I get good, good coating of that. my edges again you could use um, I, I wouldn't use um, like a glue stick for this as I really want it to stay down I would use either fabric tack or um, this 3d gel you want a really good glue that's going to with it being on the cover um, So that's my picture down. I'm now gonna I'm gonna stick this down. And again, I'm just using if I come over this way. My I'm gonna put plenty on here, I just dab it on. And then if there's any showing, you can leave it because it will dry clear. But if I have a big blob that I can see. I just use a small brush and lift it if needs be and this take it takes it I mean it I'd leave it overnight to dry solid but it takes really quickly you've got enough time to move stuff around that it will it will grab which is great make sure you get all your small pieces so that they're secure that down as you can see even from there you can see the bits of glue that have squished out <clears throat> from around the edges I don't know if I've got any tea left I'm sorry no I haven't well that's a novelty <clears throat> the day you really need some I drank it um no, 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 no,
a little brush here, just a small one, and I'm just going to go around and lift off some of the excess glue, just so you don't get big blobs of it. It's personal preference, I just like to clear some of it off. It hasn't got to be perfect. It just gets rid of the big, big blobs. I think once it's all dry, you just end up with a cleaner, cleaner finish. don't advise wiping it on your hand because I forget and then it takes me ages getting it off. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's find a way. Okay. So at this point, I think what I might do is I'm going to put some paint on now because I want to blend in the image onto the book. Excuse me. And also I want to paint a bit of this on there too. Um, I, I don't really want to paint the flowers because they already match. Uh, if I was using a different colour, I would gesso it and then paint the flowers in. But on this occasion, as soon as I've got flowers that match the colour scheme, I'm going to apply the flowers afterwards. Oh, this is just not playing at all, is it? I've got gluey hands now, it doesn't want to stick to me either. stick down for me. No. Nope. It's not gluing at all. Eh? The cream one is far more flexible. some paint anyway and see. So I'm going to move my flowers out of the way for a moment. Now I'm using just some cheap acrylic paint paints that I have. A different uh, what did I say make? No, they're all deco art ones. Um if you're in the UK I got these I think from the works. Uh, or you can buy them online. This one is just a turquoise, uh, just a matte, it's not a glossy one. And then I have the metallics. So I've got metallic royal ruby and metallic rich espresso and metallic crystal green. So they're the colours that I'm going to be using. Um, on the cover. I'm really hoping that's going to take and stick. We'll see. Okay, let me use my glue out of the way for a moment. So I've just using a Ferro Rocher lid um, to put my paints in. I'm just going to do a small blob. Green. And where should we go with this one? I've 
also got my water spray. So I'm going to put a little bit in. Some tissue. <clears throat> I don't want thick, thick colour. I want to just... I want to be able to see the black underneath. If you can see what I'm doing here. Yeah. I don't know if I zoom in a little. see that okay so I'm just doing flicking brush strokes over the if I lift it up a little so I'm just using flicking brush strokes I don't want a lot of paint on here. I just want to be blending. separated on that. Going all round. of my picture that I put on there. push it down as it goes. I'm hoping that the paint will help this to adhere as well. I'm going to build up so I like to do small thin layers of the painting that we put on. Now this is going to start to show where we have gone over the pattern. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind that at all. This is quite a dry brush. textured the back, I've left the back, um, which is absolutely fine. Again, I don't mind mismatch light brush strokes, different directions, absolutely fine. Stand that tapping. <clears throat> Better. Put a 
little bit more paint in. And then I'm going to go over this with some of the green. Now we use a little bit of the metallic green. Just blend some of that. Coming on to my image a bit as well. See how that's building. So I'm just dabbing this on now. I don't want too much of the metallic green. I want it to blend. Blend this image in. So it all becomes one. Tactically, that in. <clears throat> I don't know why it's not taken. This is just because it's so stiff. It's fine, though, it's all part of it. I'm sorry for this tapping. No, oh, I can't keep moving it. I need it to be on the surface. When the light is on it, it shows up the sort of the sparkle in the green. As that dries, it'll, it'll show less of the green and more of the sparkle through. It's mossy looking. See, when the glue, glue dries, you won't see that. So I'm sorry, I'm off camera on time. As I'm dabbing, I'm slightly pulling as well. Just blending these colours as I go. 
darkening some areas, lightening some areas, mixing the two paints. pushing this down. If it doesn't stick then I should just go over it with some fabric type and push it down. Okay so at the moment that's zoom back out again slightly. Okay that's where we've got at the moment. So no that is not going to take whatever reason do not know. I'm now just going to run fabric tack along that line. I'll push that down. Now I know it will stick. And as you can see, it's shiny. It can be dealt with later. taken at all so these are the things we find out when we're making <laughs> it's absolutely fine literally go over it every time I'm gonna smear that on Do we now? Let's use the back of my brush. If I touch that, I'm gonna totally honestly stick to it. Okay. So now we're never glued. <laughs> down. So what I could do now, I've got a couple of options. I could, I want to have some goldy colours running through this. So I could either use my acrylic paints and highlight areas and just go over like I have done with the green. Or I could use uh, the gold uh, gilding wax which is what I think I'm going to do but before I do that I need to try and get some of this glue off my fingers quickly uh, because otherwise it'll be all bitty and won't look good and the parts I'm going to go over I will go over this but I'm going to go over where we have done the um, texture paste I'm just going to Go over that. You do not need much of this at all. So what I do is I just put my finger in and then I use the lid to take some off. And I'm just going to highlight I'm running my finger. If you can see. Let me just zoom in. Okay, so I am highlighting. There with my finger just where it's raised here and there. I don't want to totally cover it. I just want to give it a I want to go along the edges of the paper too. Just highlighting here and there. Okay, see that? <laughs> so I'm just going to oh, come out a little way, sorry. There. 
you can see what I'm doing then. Okay, so just highlight all along the edge as well, I think. Here we've got a bit of the leaf showing, that's fine. Don't mind that. You feel that like you've got too much on, just dab your fingers together. And it'll just take a bit off. I got a bit too much up there. It's it's entirely personal preference. You might like it really thick on there. I don't want too much on this one. Just want it slightly highlighting. Now that's where the book is. I'm just going to come down and go along the edge of the image slightly just to highlight that image. And we're going to be putting our flowers on there, so I'm not going to go too mad there. Um, I will go around the edges. Very, very edge of the book. Just to highlight that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm also just going to add little flecks in here. Nothing much, just here and there. <clears throat> just little flecks of gold. so I don't cover everything in it. So that's where we're at with the cover so far. The back. Do I put any gold on? I'll put a, a little. A little. I don't know, it's just a little highlight of it. a little hint of gold I'm just going to go around the edge of the edge of the page because I don't match just totally missed the edge there So that's just got a, a slight hint of it there. Still isn't happily sticking down, is it? I should continue to work with that. But we're getting there with it. Okay, so perhaps if I zoom out. This video is getting really long, I'm so sorry. I think what I would probably do is let this dry before I go too much further with it. And then maybe come back and carry on the decor. So... That's where the cover is at so far. I'm going to end this video now because it's getting super, super long. And then we'll come back and we will continue to decorate it. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.